Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about the strumstick or dulcimer. Whichever name you call it, these techniques will work on it. I am tuned Delta Alpha Delta. You can also be tuned GDG. For this video, it really doesn't matter because it's all right hand techniques and these techniques will work on either tuning. So I've covered the waltz, the common time strum, the calypso and the galloping horse Johnny Cash train sound. In this one, I'm going to cover one of the strums that I perform on ukulele, which is the George Formby split stroke. I'll play it for you so you sort of recognize the sound, this sound. <laughs> It's the stuff George Formby did when he wasn't singing. When he was taking a solo and his hand was moving, that's that strum. It wasn't the strum he used when singing. That was something different altogether. So for this, we're going to need one chord. We'll choose D as it's the easiest one on this instrument. If you tuned in G, do G. But really, it makes no difference. It's all a technique. In this one, we are playing in eighths or one and two and three and four. And, and for this, we're going to need to know two motions. The first one is repeated twice and then a down up. So let's get started. We're strumming down through all the strings, catching the bottom string, tapping the top. Down, catch, tap. When I strum down, I'm using the nail. When I catch the bottom string, I'm using my pad and I'm tapping the top string with my nail. So it's nail, pad, nail. And you repeat that, so it's like this now. Then down, up. Down, catch, tap. Down, catch, tap. Down, up. But you count it like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. to lie to you to learn this technique can take a while I've known people spend months many hours of many days of many months and even a couple of years to get this down where it sounds smooth and rhythmic we, we, we're looking more for rhythm here than melody it's more rhythmic than shall we say melodious so we do a, D chord, a delta chord up here but if you're in G a G chord is fine <laughs> So you need to remember two things. It's down, catch, tap, down, catch, tap, down, up. So one bar is down, catch, tap, down, catch, tap, down, up. To the count of one and two and three and four and. Again, one bar is either one and two and three and four and or down catch tap down catch tap down up so again two motions of three down catch tap down catch tap then a down up or down catch tap down catch tap down up one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and with this strum particularly if you change chords mid strum you do not restart on other strums you can probably compensate with this one you can't you really will confuse yourself this hand <laughs> Once this starts, I just keep it rotating that way. When you change chords, don't start again because you really will confuse yourself. This hand just keeps moving like that. If you wish to know where you can implement this, if you were singing a song and there was a couple of bars of doing nothing, you can slip into that. And it makes it interesting for the listener. So that is my version of the George Formby split stroke on 
the dulcimer. There's a couple more George Formby techniques I may make videos for on this instrument. Of course, I have made them on the ukulele, and if you watch them, there'll be a link somewhere in this video, I'm sure, to that one. Check them out. Again, the techniques are the same on whatever instrument you're playing. You just fret the chords you're meant to fret. But if you wish to check them out, please do. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpool Music School for more videos. The more thumbs up we get and the more subscribers we get, the more videos we will post. So until next time, take care, keep practicing, keep playing, and as always, goodbye.